What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down something to spy, Tesla, NVIDIA, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down something with the overall market moving forward as we have important data coming out for tomorrow and how this could affect the markets. But before I begin the information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I'm personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 of them, and the offer ends in just one week. Anyways, guys, right now the market is trying to pump even higher. SPY is getting very close to all-time highs. We're seeing the QQQ breaking all-time highs thanks to Apple pumping very, very nicely. But the question is, will this continue into tomorrow? And that's why I have a very important warning. So tomorrow is going to be Wednesday, okay? June 12th. And don't forget that one hour before the market opens, we have core CPI and CPI data coming out. Now, personally, I think that CPI is going to be completely fine, except I'm not as confident about core CPI. That's what I'm a little bit less confident about. I think it will be close to expectations, but I'm not sure if it's going to be a little bit higher, a little bit lower that I'm not too sure about. But I am confident that CPI for all M's will be just fine based on what we've seen in previous data. Core CPI is the only thing I'm not as uh, uh, certain about. So that makes me uh, more ambiguous and it makes me want to just be very careful with the way that I trade personally. And that basically means that, you know, this, at least what I'm saying, kind of relates to a lot of people. Because right now, you know, no one truly knows what CPI is going to be for sure. We don't know for sure. Some data does suggest some things about, you know, all items CPI, which is why I brought that up. But nothing can be said, nothing can be promised. So it is risky to hold anything overnight if you are going to try to hold through this. Now, uh, I'm not referring to futures. I know that you could. there's not going to be data decay and you guys could just exit beforehand. But for options, if you're holding spy options, call options, anything like that, be careful, guys, because the market is going to make a big move tomorrow. It's going to gap up or gap down. We'll just have to see how things go. So with that being said, what do I think is going to happen? Well, if we get a decent CPI, SPY could gap up and just start pushing for 541. If we get a hot CPI and we get a rug pull, we could gap down to 533 and start tipping all the way back down to 530. So it all depends. Right now, SPY is for the most part just range bound. Uh, we've been stuck between 536, the 536 is in 533, uh, kind of trading sideways for the last couple of days. We're going to be watching to see the SPY get another, another leg higher or not. Technically speaking, it looks more bullish to me. It looks like it wants to break out higher, but that doesn't guarantee anything as it depends on what we get with CPI. So we'll just have to wait and see. As far as Tesla goes, when you zoom out of Tesla, let me just hide these lines real quick. You guys can see we had a nice looking head and shoulders like structure. We have a left shoulder here, a head and a right shoulder. Tesla came all the way down towards about 168. We called out 168 if we lost 173. And now we're attempting to rebound. So Tesla is kind of stuck between 170 and then 168. We're trying to break out a little bit on Tesla as the market is trying to rebound. But I just want to make it very clear that what happens tomorrow to Tesla depends on CPI. Will we get launched back up to 173 as resistance to 176? Or are we about to get a rug pull all the way back down to lower levels, such as 168 and 165? In my personal opinion, it looks like Tesla's trying to bounce a bit, but just to be safe, we will wait and see. But overall, there is potential in Tesla, in my personal opinion. Now, we will see what happens with all the data coming out, of course. Uh, that's going to be key for us. So be very patient, and we'll see how things go. Uh, for NVIDIA, exactly as predicted, we're just trading sideways in the channel. Will we get launched to all-time highs? We're about to get a rug pull all the way back down to 117. We'll just have to wait and see. That's going to be very, very critical for how we end up moving. For Bitcoin, we're also starting to dip even lower right over here. We actually had a nice double top leg structure. The double top leg structure is showing some signs of weakness. That does suggest downsides possible, but we held support around 66,000. Our resistance is going to be very tight, so around 67,791 or 200 EMA. So I'm waiting to see Bitcoin maybe rebound just a bit more, and we'll see if we get a rejection or not tomorrow. That depends a lot on CPI, so we'll just have to wait and see. For Apple... Apple, of all things, has been pumping very nicely. We went to this resistance around 206. We will see if Apple continues to climb all the way up to 210. Do we climb up to 210 or do we get a rug pull back down to 200? I will wait and see. We're kind of in the middle right now, around 205. So I'm expecting a big move tomorrow. Do we go up to 210 or do we come back down to 200? That's going to cause a big move in the markets for SPY and the others. For Supermicro, we're just trading sideways as well. I'm seeing some signs of weakness. We kind of rejects off 800. To be bullish, I want to see it break past 804 now, the 50 EMA. Uh, for bearish, I want to see it basically break down. I did say that it's looking kind of more bearish to me, and that is what played out so far. So we're just range bound. But CPI will affect if this ends up continuing this way. CPI could cause us to dip down to 730 or even break out to 800. So we'll just have to wait and see. Now for a few more. 
We have uh, Coinbase. We have a gap to fill above. Will CPI launches higher to fill the gap at 250 plus? We get the rug pull. I'm just waiting to see. The technicals do look a little more bullish. Amazon is on a very, very nice uptrend. We're still holding our 20 EMA. Will we lose 184 and turn bearish? Or do we continue to climb? We'll just have to wait and see. Same thing with Meta. We're actually climbing towards 510. And we also have uh, support currently at 505. So we'll just have to see which way we end up going. But overall, just a very, very nice uptrend. We're actually holding up very well. So we just have to be very patient and see how things go. For GameStop, we're actually rebounding. It's actually looking pretty good. I want to see it try to break past 29.45. That's going to be our 20 EMA. So, so far, it's doing a good job. If we do break through that, through that we could push even higher to fill this imbalance. If not, it is what it is. But I'm seeing some potential in GameStop also on AMC. I'm trying to rebound. The memes are showing some life. We could be hitting, looking at 5.65 soon. Uh, but that depends on CPI and such. So that's what I'm basically waiting for. So in a nutshell, guys, the market has potential. Right now, technicals look bullish for SPY, the QQQ, and many other tickers like Amazon. Uh, Supermicro is showing a little bit of weakness, but others are just kind of flat. Tesla is also kind of flat right now within a range. But whether or not we make a big move and see a squeeze or not depends on CPI, and that will affect the broader markets. And it's also going to affect uh, what we get for FOMC. So it's going to be a big, crazy day tomorrow. And just as a reminder, guys, and here's why tomorrow is going to be so impactful for the markets. Uh, don't forget that we have um, CPI coming up before the market opens. It's going to cause some crazy volatility. The market's going to pump. It's going to dump. It's going to do whatever. And then whatever happens with CPI, whatever the data looks like, is going to affect the FOMC meeting. So the same day the data comes out, the same day we, we have Jerome Powell speaking at the FOMC meeting later on. So it's going to be a very wild day, not just the day, but also the day after. We're going to see some crazy volatility, and I can't wait to see what Jerome Powell has to say. Always remember when Jerome Powell starts speaking, the market loves to go crazy. It goes berserk. It goes bananas, whatever you want to say. It goes absolutely insane. So make sure you prepare for this. Make sure you guys are ready. If you're holding anything overnight, any kind of options, and you can't exit them with your brokerage before the market opens or before CPI comes out, then there is a risk uh, associated with that. Um, you, you know, you could make crazy money. Maybe it works out very well. Maybe it doesn't work out well and you lose money. So there is a risk either way. Uh, I'm not trying to encourage you to discourage you from doing anything. It's your choice. I just want to make it very clear that that's what I'm seeing at least thus far. So please heed my warnings, guys. And I just want to say I appreciate all of you guys so much. I will see you guys very soon after the market closes. So take care until then and get ready for what's about to come. The market only has about 43 minutes left until it closes. So be prepared, be ready, and do what you guys have to do. All right. So thank you all so much again for your attention. Please like the video if you guys like this uh, and do what you have to do. And I will see you guys in just a couple of hours to give you guys another update on how things are looking, especially as we approach CPI. All right. Thank you. The market to the moon because the long term is very bright, despite what's happening for the short term, despite anything. Always remember the long term is bright. And peace out.